Welcome to day two of Natutsi Sofa Talks hosted by Design Boom. I'm Lynn Myers from Design Boom and this week we've been live streaming a series of Q&As from Natutsi Italia's flagship store here in Via Durini in Milan. We're here about Natutsi's 2020 collection, The Circle of Harmony, for which Natutsi invited eight different designers to bring their own unique styles to the Natutsi brand. The aim of this very collaborative project was to create a design blend whereby the different visions and aesthetics of each designers come together in harmony. Yesterday, we spoke to Paola Navoni and Mauro Leparini. And to kick off today, we're joined by designer Claudio Bellini, who's created the Solar Collection, which includes the Pablo modular seating system, the brick bed, the sculptural table ombre, and the frost coffee table. Welcome, Claudio. Thank you, Wayne. Um, Puglia, in the region in the south of Italy, is the inspiration for this collection. Can you tell us about your relationship with this place? Was there something you wanted to pay particular homage to in the Solar Collection? Yeah, of course. But, you know, I, I have a very deep and long relation with this wonderful region of Italy, Puglia. Since I was very, very young, uh, we are used to get there every summer, holidays, and we spend a month time for over 15 years. So you can imagine how deep is the memories I have of that time. Not only then, you know, because I love particularly this area, I get married there. Oh, wow. Yeah, too, in a wonderful city, the white city of Stuni. And uh, uh, again, also I've been working there for a long time because my relation with uh, Natuzzi, it's since uh, 25 years I'm working together. So I have many occasions to, to get there, to be there. At the end, uh, uh, you know, Apulia is a wonderful place and uh, definitely when I, I, I feel the needs to get again in peace with the, with the universe, I go there, <laughs> I go there, really. So the new collection, Sola, uh, is uh, a tribute, a memory to, uh, to, to this uh, feeling and memories I have. And uh, the tribute really is already in the name, because mm -hmm. Sola is, it comes from solari, solarita, the Italian words. Okay. Med, uh, solarita mediterranea. Probably I don't have the right uh, translation in English, but what it means for me, Sola, is a, um, a really a condensate uh, of uh, Italian lifestyle. And overall in that region, you feel this special atmosphere because of uh, the presence, uh, a lot of cultural presence, wonderful people, very welcoming, uh, a, natural, a wonderful natural context, a lovely cuisine. Everything is mixed together when you are working in, in, a, in a small village or city you can you have a special platform that you can brace uh, those small city done with a chianca stone and everything is a, a perfect mix uh, uh, of these meanings solarita enjoy your life in a, in an Italian way okay <laughs> the Mediterranean way so you know that's a tribute at the end <laughs> um, so for that reason then I developed a new collection as mm -hmm. you mentioned yeah uh, solare trying to bring this spirit there. So we have uh, a sofa, it's a modular sofa, Pablo. Which is the one we're sitting Yeah, on. we are sitting here, yeah. I don't know if people is able to see it. <laughs> but it seems to be quite comfortable too, and uh, quite appealing. And together with the uh, uh, Frost Collection, is a side table, coffee table, uh, the bed and the table, ombra. But basically, just not getting in details on each single product. What's the, the ingredients I use to, to work here? You know, is a kind of mix of uh, simplicity with the best ingredient. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mixing together, I think the, the result is very effective and in a way is uh, remembering me that kind of uh, pure sense of relax. You stay in harmony with the world. That's, that's, that's the story. And, uh, um, and, and, you know, that's, that's the, the, main, uh, the main design vision I had uh, from the beginning. Uh, it's also this way to mix uh, simplicity with the best ingredient that in a way could remember us, the uh, uh, Pullian cuisine, where it's working the same way. So very simple, but uh, 
spectacular ingredients uh, mixed together, you have a wonderful result. For example? <laughs> uh, we have many, different. many, so many. I, I love uh, many kind of pasta like orecchiette okay. with cime di rapa, and then you have a lot of vegetables uh, just uh, with a special oil, no? Just simple. So that's the simplicity and, and what I'm saying. Uh, so that's... Uh, uh, that is the, the, the intention I had, mm -hmm. and uh, based on this principle, yeah. And especially with this um, seating system that is modular, so in which different ways can you Yeah, of course, you know, to, to design today a sofa, uh, when we design a sofa system, uh, we're not just to focus on the idea of modularity, that of course is expected, as in this case, mm -hmm. this is an open-based metal legs, uh, okay. so it's a bit floating sofa. Uh, could be done in leather or fabric, but uh, basically are those uh, uh, units, the seat and the back, very simple, joined mm -hmm. together with some uh, uh, detail uh, as those two uh, bracket in, in, in metal to, to keep connected mm -hmm. the, uh, the different elements. But basically when we design a sofa, we are trying to move uh, over from the single product. We have to be able to recreate an atmosphere. Uh, no? It's a kind of playground that has to get into your home and match your way to live and uh, enjoy how to live. And so you can sit, uh, lay down, uh, play with your kids. So uh, every time, and also what we have done here is to try to generate the right, right landscape that fits in your home and works very well. Excellent, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, also the table. Uh, the frost table, uh, once again, is a, a mix uh, of basic elements. So we have those pure geometric shapes, like cylinder or parallelepipede, uh, I don't know how to tell, very square shape in marble, on stone, uh, that uh, keep and grasp uh, uh, glass mm -hmm. no? suspended. So those two elements, very materic. No? You can feel a sense uh, uh, of materia that is there. So the design tried to, to move on a principle of playing with those basic elements without becomes redundant, redundant in details. Okay. Brick uh, bed uh, is a, a full upholstered bed. Mm -hmm. It has a, a, a very nice uh, back head, head part. Um, and it's shaped in a way that reminds me, as I told you before, these are uh, uh, special stone you can find in Puglia. And What's in Puglia. The Chianca, Chianca. You know, okay. in, in the small city, you can, it's completely done with Chianca. Okay. So when you walk on the street, the, this stone is there, and because of the time, it becomes a bit rounded, it's no more perfect. There are many also houses built with the same stone. And so that is, a, no, I pay tribute in this way to, to that uh, memories I have. And uh, again, also the, t the table ombra, that mm -hmm. is very simple, maybe quite unusual for Natuzzi. Uh, uh, you can see, it's less than this we cannot. So it's a very uh, basic, um, uh, a bit sculptural piece of stone where a, a table is magically suspended over the mm -hmm. top. Uh, and that's all, that's enough. And so I, I think this is, is really, Mm, I've been inspired by, by this special region about that. So with this, with this period. Yeah. I think you've really <laughs> sold it to us as well. Now I want to go on holiday too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, in fact, because when I say, I have to explain what is Solarita uh, Mediterranea, but I, I think I cannot. Maybe I've been not able today. So please, if you've never been there, take a ticket and okay. pay one week there enjoying holidays. So Definitely. you will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, one of your design traits is versatility, and have you, as you've said, you've, in this collection you have products for sleeping, living, and dining areas. How do you manage to cross such different worlds while still expressing the same uh, characteristic style that you have? Mm. Does your that's, approach change? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question, you know. Uh, basically, I never care about to my stylistic characteristic. So I never, when I finish to think something, it corresponds to my image of my way to think. Uh, I think that is something related to my personal background, 
my sensibility, my way to, to imagine, to have vision, no? So it's something that comes natural. It's more related to the same approach I have mm -hmm. when I'm entering in a creative process. Uh, then, of course, you can imagine I'm working around the world with many different clients that could be small or very huge companies in different fields of design. And uh, so what I can say, if you, if you find with my work, a, a characteristic, uh, no, a similar characteristic here in Atutsi is because definitely uh, when we develop a product, that's my attitude. I, I think I'm not alone. I'm not the designer that comes here and say you have to do this and that. Uh, is uh, the development of, of a product is more related to build up a very close uh, uh, relationship with your client. Uh, get to the, into a process of a deep understanding. So when you, you meet your partner, your client, and the client is not one person. Eh? The client is a team of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people from the marketing, prototype maker, and so on and so on. <laughs> you have to understand where you are, sure. what, you, what they expect from your side, and uh, jointly start. No, I'm dreaming. Uh, I'm, I'm, so we have all together working together, uh, you know, be able to come to a final result with this team teamwork. And uh, of course, the company is also taking care to a brand vision, a brand strategy. So they are driving me. I'm driving uh, the company with my vision. And the combination of those two elements and many others, I think, uh, make, a, make possible that at the end, we have a coherent collection through the time with different typology of products. Okay. <clears throat> And as you've mentioned, you've worked with Natutsi for many years and you've contributed to the evolution of the brand. What's changed throughout the years and through the different generations? Is there something new about this Circle of Harmony collection? Uh, changing a lot for me. You know, as I told you, it's almost 20, 25 years working together. Uh, what does it mean? So, uh, the, the Natutsi I met many times ago was completely different. But the world is different. The society was different. Yeah, sure. And, uh, and so we, at the time, we are designing product, focusing on product. Mm -hmm. you know? We have to sell and to design good products. Then, uh, <clears throat> thanks to Mr. Pasquale Natuzzi, the brands evolved during that, those years. And they move uh, step by step uh, from products to an idea of total look. Total look, so that means uh, to create a small atmosphere. The landscape you mentioned. Coordinating a sofa with a table, with a carpet, so giving a more, uh, no, a more sophisticated vision of the mm -hmm. product. And and then uh, these uh, growth and changes move on and on. And now we are mm, still improving and working together with this uh, uh, vision. Uh, to, to, to make more and more sophisticated and com completely offer. Um, and this landscape we are talking about is really um, to work on a, and touch emotional part of people. You know? So when they come into a shop, at, at first maybe you have not, not to notice a, a, that sofa or that table, but to feel comfortable there. Uh, and that is, uh, I think, the concept of harmony <laughs> at the end. Mm -hmm. That in some ways is uh, close to what I call me uh, solarita mediterranea. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so what is changing now, of course, facing with a new generation, we are talking about PJ Junior, uh, PJ, PJ, yes. not PJ Junior, uh, PJ. Uh, uh, yes. uh, it's changed a lot uh, the relation in some way. Because of course, uh, I have the opportunity with PJ, that is a friend, is uh, another generation, is younger, to talk uh, with uh, more freedom, to, to break the boundaries that, in a certain way, Natuzzi was, you know, has to stay in such a kind of box uh, during mm -hmm. the past time. And all this box is opening uh, to a new opportunity and possibility. Of course, uh, following a coherent, you know, uh, uh, implementation. And I think uh, with PJ now we, we have such a very good relation that uh, as you can see in the last year something is changing in Atuzzi. I think in the right direction. It's not easy. Uh, and some, a, a lot we have still to do. But uh, uh, it's very promising. This new relation, this uh, freedom uh, uh, discussing also maybe crazy idea uh, uh, 
I think is bringing to the company and to the brand uh, a lot of new and fresh energy that uh, uh, driven correctly by PJ uh, producing a very interesting result. Yeah. And where do you see it going in five, ten years? Do you notice a, a change from the younger generation, what they want in a furniture product? Pro probably, probably yes, because you know uh, what happens today if you if you look what uh, we are living. We are living a wonderful uh, century. <laughs> so there are so many changes from some from some aspect. Maybe is a problem, but I'm really so fascinated. We are. Now, today, because of the internet revolution, there mm -hmm. are maybe five billion people connected together, uh, which is the market. How, how was this, the changes in societies? Uh, what, should, uh, what will be a new model of city with the new sources of energy, electric cars, uh, and a uh, connection? Uh, I think uh, we are living really in a time where uh, the changes is so fast and so strong, so rapidly. Yeah. And of course, we, it's, it's difficult that our life, our house, our way to work and to live uh, will change at the same uh, speed. Mm -hmm. But that means uh, in front of us, we have uh, a very nice and uh, energetic time to uh, reinvent, modify, try to comply, try to, not comply, try to, to match different yeah. needs. So I don't know exactly what will be, but for sure I know that uh, will be a very challenging and uh, exciting time in front of us. Definitely exciting, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, changing topic a little, uh, you mentioned that you are someone who loves to explore and deal with different cultures and different lifestyles. How do these experiences affect and enrich your design? You know, uh, I think <laughs> you cannot... First of all, I've been used since I was very young to travel around the world, thanks to my parents. Okay. So, not what people maybe is getting to the seaside with the friends, but uh, I was uh, traveling uh, and, and visiting uh, the, the, the Middle East, uh, an ancient uh, architectural site uh, and meeting different cultures. So it's something that I really have been used since I was very young. And for me, my life, my idea of how I to, to live, uh, it's, it's really stay connected with other people, culture, uh, enjoy different experience. So at the end, I have to travel, to travel to Brace. I cannot imagine myself here in Milan for... Uh, 10 months uh, a year. You know, now we are in a bad time, but uh, I, I'm used to, to live on a plane almost because I'm really traveling uh, maybe 10, 15 days every month around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so that's, is my, I enjoy my life in this way. Saying that, and I think that today for what we already discussed before, how we can work, how we can uh, design something uh, without having a clear idea staying connected with what is going on in the world. Because uh, what we design on overall for Natuzzi, that is a global brand, a real global brand. They are not just distributing something here and there. They have mm -hmm. different huge market, a strong presence. And so I think it's very important for us to understand what those people are expecting. Because we are, okay, we are bringing value, design vision, but our value design vision has to be linked to expectation and society that is changing what they expect, what they desire. And so uh, staying connected, uh, traveling around the world, that's the only way I could, do, I could imagine to, to perform my, 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 my job. Uh, otherwise, I think <laughs> it's not really possible. You must be dying to get back. Yeah, you, you mentioned before, for example, um, some product like uh, La Scala. La Scala mm -hmm. is... Uh, a product design for Natuzzi is a, uh, a new classic or contemporary classic so far. Uh, so it's an interpretation of uh, Chesterfield. But, you know, also in that case, how we get there? Uh, it's not because Claudio comes here, yeah, I have this idea, we have to reinvent. Uh, of course, we uh, look into the market, Natuzzi, as we, we discover that there's such a big demands, needs, uh, 
uh, overall in certain market, of course, uh, uh, that, that people need something like that. So we need classic, but that's not to be more so classic. We have to reinvent, to reinterpret, to, uh, you know, uh, to do something in that direction. That's why I start this, uh, uh, this story, uh, reinterpreting the, the Chester, uh, Charles of London, that is another typology. And so, as you can see, as I told you before, we are not alone as a designer in a project development. It's a complex story. And that today, nowadays, you know, uh, uh, it's more and more articulated and complex. There's a market, uh, uh, certain culture, different uh, cultural background. And, and you have uh, really to be able, when you are involved in this process, to connect all those elements together. That, I think, uh, could be then the secret of uh, a good product. A, a good and successful product is the result of uh, such a kind of integration, understanding collaboration. and collaboration. Okay. And uh, now we have some questions from our Instagram users. Wow. <laughs> um, the first one is a great question. How do I know what size of sofa is right for my living room? Oh my God. That's a good question. I love that question. Yeah. So I, I, I uh, you know, I don't know your, your home, how big is it and so on. But I think the problem uh, with the sofa, and we touched this point before, is not really uh, related uh, to the size, but how you are used to live, what you expect from a sofa, how okay. do you relate with a sofa at home. So you, are, you like something that you sit more uh, formally or you like really to enjoy and, and, and sit and lay down some way you are a single, uh, you are a couple, you are a family. So I think, uh, and, and also looking uh, which kind of uh, uh, home you have, which is the touch. Mm -hmm. So we have to start from that point. Then the size is the minor question. Uh, at first you have to, to select the proper solution, the proper seating solution. And then the size has to be calibrated, of course, with your house okay <laughs> so not definitive answer but maybe they can get in touch with you <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. why not a second question from another user what advice do you have for someone hoping to make a career as a designer yeah uh, definitely you have to come to my studio uh, as an internship and start oh, okay. to understand okay, how the world is working <laughs> you know I'm joking but uh, really uh, a big passion study, not stupid story, but uh, really I think uh, uh, today uh, it's important. It's important to have the opportunity to enjoy experience in, in a qualified studio if, if, if possible. Mm -hmm. But I think there's space, you know, which is my problem today. I'm looking for people to come to work. Oh, really? We need people. Ah, okay, but so it okay. seems impossible to find any designer anymore in the world. They are oh, doing something now, else. Some it's not design. Design is something else. It's uh, designing uh, event, projecting event, and this way. Oh. We have to design furniture, guys. So. Okay, so you're looking for recruits. Yeah, looking. Uh. <laughs> okay. So that's it, yeah. Um, a third question. What have you learned about yourself as a designer during the years? Oh my God. I, 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 I learned that uh, I have to, to maintain a, a genuine, uh, so I'm not to try to change what I am. Sometimes, uh, uh, because you know, communication, what is better, you, you have to show to the other. And uh, in certain moment, that's, but, Maybe I have to change uh, an approach or, or this or that. Uh, maybe I tried sometimes. But uh, at the end, I think uh, you have to be yourself. So keeping a very open-minded attitude. And what you are is a value. It okay. doesn't need to be exactly the same of the other one is doing this and that. So stay, I don't know, in English. Choose you, yourself. Choose okay. yourself, really, naturally, and enjoy nice. what, you, what you are. Okay. That's something positive at the end. Yeah, I think that's us. the perfect way to end. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to you. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, we'll be here later with Fabio Novembre. Thanks again, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that's you. it. Thank you. È finita. <laughs>